Hello watch people, welcome back. My name is Hector and this is Winding Crowns. Today we have an unboxing. It is by a company called Dufresne out of Austin, Texas. I am from Texas, so I'm always pulling for the Texas uh, companies. Uh, I've been checking them out and they have some really nice divers, dress watches. Seems to be a real, real nice um, array of different type watches and some are running Salida movements, so that's a good workhorse of a movement of the Salida 200. Anyway, I've talked to the owner, his name is Steven, and the company, like I said, is out of Austin, Texas. He seems to be real nice. I've talked to him on IG, Instagram, and on uh, through email, and he seems like to be a real nice guy, and he sent me this watch. But first, roll the intro. Hello watch people, my name is Hector and welcome to Winding Crowns. And we're back guys. Today I am wearing the Seiko SRP E93. It used to be called the SRP777, but now they've taken the Air Diver off the back and just put Dive Watch. So now they went ahead and changed the number that used to be SRP777 and they call it SRPE93. That's what this is. Anyways, here's the watch. The box that came in, address on the other side. So we'll open it carefully from the bottom side. Use the old lightning, which that I call the letter opener. Very cool letter opener, don't you think? Nice. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and just make an incision, but carefully not to cut the, the contents inside or my finger. There we go. Just carefully cut. There we go. Pull it from the back side. There we go, guys. Move the box to one side. Do a little bit of the unwrapping. Okay, good job doing the bubble wrap there, Stephen. We don't want we don't want the old United States Postal Service slamming our watch every which way. So Stephen did the right thing and he went and bubble wrapped it, put it in a nice firm box. Anyway, there you go. Dufresne watches. A little sticker with their logo and their name. Pretty cool, nice little touch, Steven. Little pouch that it's in. Let's get it out of there right quick. Look at that, guys. You already see what I see? Nice leather pouch. And you're thinking, no, that's not leather, that's pleather. Well, guys, I'm sniffing it. Look, listen to my nose, watch. <laughs> yeah. That smells like leather, guys. I've been around for a while. I've been on this planet Earth for a while. And I know pleather and I know leather. Take my word for it. I know you don't have smell-o-vision, but this is definitely leather, guys. Contrast white stitching. There's the front. Bam! The brass little, uh, little uh, ball there. It's got the little cut where the ball will go through and hold it in place. Contrast white stitching on that leather and look at that. What's that real nice deep embossed name? The logo and the word Dufresne. Look at that. And that is in there deep. It's stamped nice and deep. Oh, smells smells good like a, a nice brand new pair of leather Gucci loafers. That's what that smells like. It smells like money. Steven, Steven, if you're listening, your money, baby, your money. This right here is money. I mean, you know what? I don't even have to put the watch on. Uh, I'm done. I'm done. R just this pouch along with that brass knob there, contrast stitching, 
smelling like leather Gucci loafers. That's money. That's money. I, 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 I didn't have to wear this. I just taped this to my wrist with some uh, packing tape. Everybody would know that I'm money. But you know what? Let's take a look at it anyway. Steven did all that work packing that up for me just so that I can just leave it on the table and not look at it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't do you like that, Steven. Let's go ahead and open this baby up. It ain't gonna pop out by itself. It's tight. There you go. Look at that. Oh yeah, leather. What we have here? Let's 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 leave it the watch for last. Waterloo. By the way, this model is called the Waterloo. Dufresne Waterloo Owner's Manual. Look at that. The instructions is says thank you and welcome. Thank you. You're talking about Dufresne Waterloo from Austin, Texas. Nice. Shows you the positioning of the crown. Of course, the people that watch this type of content on YouTube, uh, they already know how to do this. But for your regular old Joe that's not into watches but wanted a watch, he needs all this. But for us connoisseurs, yeah. For us watch idiot savants, yeah, we don't need this. But thanks, Stephen, for putting it in there. For all those that aren't in the know, they they need this type of thing. But for, for us, Stephen, you know how I roll. I don't need that. And uh, what do we have here? Wait a minute, I I'm seeing... Oh yeah, I love when they do this, guys. Look at this, guys. I love when they do this. The watch, look at that. Oh my goodness. And look, guys, he put a leather. <laughs> yeah, that's pure leather divider in between. Why? Because Steven thinks like me. I hate it when people lay their watches down, especially if it's on a bracelet, where the, because you know, obviously it connects if it's a bracelet, has a clasp, bangs the heck out of the back. Then they're like, I'm tired of this watch, I wanna sell it. So they put it on watch you see for time zone or anything, or you know, Reddit, whatever. Uh, people want pictures of the back. Oh my God, what happened to the back of that watch? You know, it's a circular uh, circular brushing, so it's hard to mimic that without using a machine. You can't just scotch bright it out. And then people are like, yeah, you know, I can't give you that much. I'll give you this much. Hey, man, you're trying to lowball me. Well, no, look, the whole back is scratched. So guess what Steven did to avoid that? And this is leather. It's not really going to scratch. He puts that space or that divider so it doesn't. See, man, Steven, good looking out, bro. Look at this. Now, I also saw through IG and in different places that Steven doesn't just get your average Joe Blow case company to make his case and manufacture his case. He uses the same place that higher end watches. He, even though his price point is on the lower end, but you get a great, tremendous watch for for less money. He went ahead and went with a factory that does the Tag Heuer cases and, and whatnot. Now those are, you've seen those cases, they're perfect. There's not a flaw or anything, a, a, a burr, or a, a, the finishing in those cases on the tags and stuff like that. The Monaco's, the Aqua Races are perfection. That's who he uses, guys. So you already know what Steven's about. Look at that. There is a piece of plastic on the front that I will peel off. But look at that brushing, guys. And look look at the, the beveled edges on this watch. You see the beveling? Look at that. Look at that beveling. Woo-wee! And look at that step, the bezel. Like a step case bezel. Look at that. It steps, see how it steps down? Instead of just being a regular bezel. Let's peel that off. Oosh, look at that. See that bezel? The case is brushed. The top of the lugs are brushed, but you have that nice polished chamfered edges. And you have that real beautiful step bezel. Wow. 
Look at that crown. That's not even like a lightly etched crown. That's nice. It's done. It's done right, guys. I'm sorry. I keep getting out of camera. Look at that. That's a nice crown. Look at that back. The Texas Star. Look at that. Swiss Mechanical. 100 meter water resist 10 ATM. Sapphire Crystal. Designed and assembled in Austin, Texas. Yeah. Look at that. Production number 97. 097. It's 360 now. And I love this, guys. Here's another thing. Oh, my God. I love it. I love when there's when there's screw backs, but I love them even more when they're this Cartier style screws that hold the back in. See how they're screws? Yeah, this is nice, guys. Oh, this is nice. Look at that. Steven, I'm going to do you proud, man. I'm going to give you a good review on this bad boy. This automatic Dufresne Waterloo. Man, I'm loving it. Like McDonald's says, I'm loving it. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'm going to wear it for about a week, and then I'm doing a full review on this thing. All right, guys, if you like this type of content, you like unboxings, you like watch reviews, you like knives, you like to see when I do this, you like flashlights, watch cases, just holler at your boy. Come over here. Leave a comment. Say, man, you were hilarious. You are terrible. Whatever. Just leave a comment. Hit the bell icon so you're notified of the next vid. And uh, tell your friends. Anyway, guys, thanks. I know I play a lot, but thanks a lot, guys. Really, thanks for viewing and thanks for subscribing. I appreciate it. More to come, guys. And remember, remember, remember. Never stop winding crowns, guys. Thank you.